With the bee population in distressing decline, Harvard researchers have come up with an excellent solution. Robot bees. Bees that are robots, <laughs> obviously. Um, they operate like a regular bee, except no stingers. That's a plus. So it's, it's more to what replace a bee. What do you mean they operate a like a regular bee? They pollinate, Tim. <laughs> they will take over the pollinating functions of our bees that are dying off. And we said, fuck the bees, we need our plants. Maybe restoring the bee population wasn't working, so a robotics team did what they could in their capacity to solve the problem. Looking out for number one. Nope. So selfish. We need those plants. The world needs those plants. So let's send out right, a swarm okay. of robot sorry. bees. Tell me about robot bees. So robot bees, it's pretty cool how they function. They get put together sort of like a pop-up book, and then it's all a self-contained unit. Their power source, the UV targeting sensor, their control actuators, power actuators are all snapped together pretty astoundingly. Thank you, Harvard. They can create complex electrical and mechanical systems using a variety of techniques. It is a process well suited to mass production, enabling parallel manufacture of large numbers of robotic devices. And the bees will fly around, pollinate, and return to a hive, which, okay, there's no queen in the hive but it is a refueling station or a recharging station. Would you, what would you freak out if you saw a robot bee flying around from flower to flower instead of a black and yellow striped organic bee? No, I'm for it. You're robot all for bees. it? Yeah, let's robot everything. Tell me more. Everything we don't need anymore, let's make a robot out of it. Like what? I don't know, uh, all things that do things for us. All kinds of bugs. Well, let's make all bugs without stingers. They're trying to teach these bees um, to have a hive mind mentality. Oh, that's great. So they're going to think like a bees. colony. Let's teach the robot bees to think, right? When, Good. Can, when are they going to use these robot bees for drone warfare? That's what I want to okay, know. Okay, they're not equipped yet with stingers or mini cameras. Just kind of like getting in your face though. I think that would be enough for no, me. No, they just, all they do is pollinate and it's wonderful. And they have none of the repercussions of real bees. In fact, here is a safety. Do bees have? Well, let's let's look at this video of the safety problems with real bees that these bees will solve. Okay. Well, what is that? What is that? What is it? Oh no! No, not the bees! Not the bees! Ah! Oh, my eyes! My eyes! Ah! Ah! See, that will never happen with robot bees unless you pour them into a little <laughs> cage over your head. But it's probably okay, yeah, because they won't sting you and they don't produce honey either, but they do pollinate. So we haven't come up with a, a plan B for honey yet? No, we have no robo honey. Because would you, would you want to eat honey that was produced by a small robot? Well, do we want to eat honey now? It's produced by vomiting, so I guess that's a good point. Yeah. Hmm. I'll eat some honey vomit. Well, I don't really know. <laughs> I don't think they're, <laughs> they're equipped with the right organic stomach things inside bees to create honey. And if they did, it'd probably taste like motor oil. Mm. Yeah, so you can't really spread that on your toast yet. But pollination is a very important function of these bees. Save the plants and not the organic bees. I'm gonna miss the bees. I won't. No, the bee bit my bottom. No, my bottom. <laughs>